Okay, me and Kevin from Hidden Heights Farms over here at the Bannon Creek property, and we've been putting up some bait for bears, but we what we came across is pretty dang crazy. I never expected to see that out. Oh, no, that was crazy. So stay tuned, we'll show you what it was. Okay, I just spotted something over here underneath this tree. It looks like something. What is that? I see a carcass. Now I'm telling you, you never know what you're gonna find when you come out here to the Bannon Creek property. It's nuts. <laughs> What'd you find, Kevin? That's pretty neat. You know, we could, we could drill for oil. Look this up. I got the mineral rights, man. That's heavy, too. Look how long it is. That's There's huge. several of them. At least two links. We'll pick you one out. You can take it home with you. Put it up <laughs> on your wall. Look it right up to my tractor. <laughs> I got some good tires you can get. Yeah, toilet. That toilet can be salvaged. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. We are here at the Bandon Creek property. I got my buddy, Kevin. Kevin, what's your YouTube channel what's name? You haven't on, been on guys? the channel in a while. Oh, uh, Hidden Heights Farm. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, come check us out. So we got Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm. He's been one of my best friends for since we were a little bitty. He lives like two miles from me now. This is your second time out here, but we didn't film yep. when you came out last no. time. Um, but I need some help. Um, Kevin's going to help me bait in this bear. I'm almost 100% positive we have a bear out here. We have found the poop and we found a tree. Um, some of that, some of those are questionable. Some of you guys question it, but I'm pretty convinced it is. Um, there have been bear released in this pop, in this area, populating the area for several years now. And the old neighbors actually hit a bear just up the road, and they have they've seen the bear living out here. So if there's, there's a, a if there's a if there's a bear sow, a female out here, uh -huh. uh, right now is when they start having cubs. So it could be dangerous. If we see a cute little teddy, teddy bear <laughs> on the ground, I might just pick it up and bring it home. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Have a pet bear at so the your house. Your intention is to not harm these bears. You just want to get them. I just want to get them on camera. This is cool. This is like a wildlife refuge yep. out here like there's there's no one hardly else around and this is so untouched that uh wildlife found this as like a sanctuary absolutely especially where i'm about to take you um there's only we've i've been out there several times um but you haven't seen the waterfall or I've nothing seen like on your that. videos yeah but it's in person it's oh, way yeah, better and it's 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 over there quite a ways so i got kevin he's gonna help me carry some of this stuff let me show you. i got some I actually ordered some bear bait um it's a blueberry pie um, once we, I, I wonder if it really smells like blueberry pie. We'll oh, find out when we get over there. Does. I bet it I, tastes just like it too. Let well, me see. I, here, get you a little hit of that. <laughs> and I also got some other stuff I found on sale. Um, some acorn stuff. We'll probably get some um, deer in here too. Um, but we're going to set two cameras up. We're going to see if we can get, if we can trap this bear to come in as far as like trap it on camera. I want to catch it on camera. Um, we're not going to, does it smell like it? Yeah. Smells like it smells, a blue, it smells it does. like those blueberry suckers. It does. That smells pretty dang good. It's going to bring in a bear for sure. Hey, look, we need some honey. Get Winnie the Pooh over here. Yeah. So we're going to make our way over there. I know you guys have seen us walk over there in the past. And that's what we're doing today. We're going to set up a little bait station and um, we'll, we'll set it up. I probably won't check it for like a week. Probably come back in a week and give you guys an update. Um, but let's take you out there and see if we can walk up on it. See, look, Kevin. You see it yet? Oh, yeah. Wow. So, you can see like a claw mark. You know, could a woodpecker peck this too? Absolutely, a woodpecker could have came over and done yeah. it. But it ain't doing all that, you know what I mean? That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the bear tree and um we're gonna set up this little bait station but i'm gonna find i need to find a place to put my cameras trail right there, yeah there's a perfect trail we can go over there and put it up there yeah any place that's probably Anywhere, as good as they're any. gonna smell this a long mm -hmm. ways away let's go up let's go up by the water source and up on the on the ledge right. so we'll walk up here with this other cameras at and uh, find us a good open spot because that poop was down here at this stream where the waterfall's at. So we'll get a little closer to it. Something's been living in here. Okay, we found a good open spot. The waterfall in the spring uh, stream is right down there. And that's where we've seen the poop at. And right over here is where the bear tree's at. And we got plenty of big trees around here we could put our cameras up. Anywhere, I guess. Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll put one, maybe we put this. I'll put that inside there. Oh, look what I brought, Kevin. I was thinking about, I got some meat, some, uh, yeah. just so the, the track, you know, the smell. Oh, yeah. 
found an apple one the girls didn't finish eating. There you go. Good bear food. They'll love that. I was reading up what bear like and they like anything. Oh yeah. Um, so. Well, these bears around here aren't, obviously aren't grizzly bears. Yeah. I'd be a little worried if it was a grizzly bear. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't be out here, uh, well, I don't know what we'd be doing. <laughs> so I guess I kind of want to wire this up to like a little tree like this. Just so, I mean, he could take it and break it if he really wanted to. But you know what I mean? Let's wire it up. We'll pour some of the apple stuff in there. Maybe I should have brought some clippers. You need, you're not going to wire that one up, are you? No, I was going to leave it on the ground. Let me set my camera up. Just wire the handle. Yeah, that's all I was going to do, just the handle. This is some buck jam. It was like five bucks on sale. We're going to bring deer in for sure. We'll see if the bear likes blueberries. Kevin. I just want to drink it. The apple or persimmon? Persimmon. It smells good. I love persimmon. Heck yeah. We've got plenty of trees to put cameras on. So this is uh, not for human consumption. Is that what it says? Yeah. Does it say like, just put it on something? It says, uh, if you get it on your hands, then wash it off. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Add to existing feed or pour on the ground. Bear magnet can also be applied directly on top of your preferred bait to supercharge your bait site. Pouring down tree bark or onto rotten stumps and logs is perfect for turning bark into tasty trees. Pour enough to saturate the wood so it even drips onto the ground. So I say we'll put some of it, half of it in there, and then pour some on that dead tree. Yeah. And I'll put that meat and stuff inside all this. All right. Put some. Yeah. Come put some on that tree over there too. I think they're already starting to come. They can smell it already. And that smells strong. <laughs> it is. It smells really good, like those blueberry suckers. Yeah. Let's save a little bit and to pour over on the edge over there too, just to okay. see if maybe we can lure them in. So I put this this uh, persimmon stuff up right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour, go ahead and just top it off. Uh, I could put, I'll put one right there and I'll put like one over here or right. something. I'll pour something on this tree. Okay. This is a lot thicker than that blueberry stuff. Oh, there's a good stump over there to put one on too. There's a bit. This smells good. I know. Persimmon, blueberries. That. Or... Yeah. They pour both of them in there. Oh, there's a good one right there, Kevin. That tree. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that'll soak right into that old stump. I like that. That's thick, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I can smell it. Man, that bear, um, there's gotta be a den around here somewhere, you know it? There's, there's... There's got to be caves and stuff mm -hmm. that you don't even know about. Obviously, you haven't been able to explore it all, but... I want to put some in that tree right there in the branch. Put one up on the, uh, above the bucket. That's one thing on that branch. Yeah, there you go. I wouldn't put it in the bucket because it might get bugs. It's sour and all that. Flies and maggots. Well, here's the deal. You there's 
If you're putting meat and stuff out here, live will get coyotes know, and no, mountain no lion. But if we got cameras covering a couple angles, that'll be good. There you go. I just kind of want to get this up in the air so they can smell it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's supposed to be really windy the next couple of days, so it'll really get this scent going. Look at that. Who could resist a nice, juicy ham steak? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to eat these. Kind of hate to waste them. We're trying to bait a bear. Nothing going hey, to waste yeah. now. We're not wasting this. <laughs> a little bear come up here and just move on that. Raccoons or something, I guarantee you something will be here tonight. All right, I'll set this camera. I got these at Walmart, man. These work really, really good. They take this little SD card? No, they take the regular one. Big ones. We'll walk over there and get that other one. I'm going to go ahead and change this out and just see what I got on there. Yeah, perfect angle. That's that on there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's So we got some pretty good little bait station going on right here. Got some meat. Man, if we, if we stay here any longer, I might eat hey, that. Hey, so when you told me that you thought there might be bears out here, I was like, well, it sounds early to me, but then I got to looking and reading and doing some research and stuff. And this year, even on the East Coast all the way to, to the Midwest, we're like three weeks ahead hey. of uh, Mother Nature for some reason. Yeah. It's really weird. There's fruit trees blooming and stuff. And it's way too soon. So, you like, you know, bears hibernate and all that. They yeah. could easily be out right now. We found that fresh poop right down there. Yeah, I've seen that. And that's what it looked like, bear skin. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so in Oklahoma weather, it, it's going to be 70 tomorrow for three days in a row. And then it's going to get cold again. Like, a little three or four day snap like that can definitely get a bear oh, yeah. up and going. It tricks all the nature. All right, I'm going to grab this other camera and we'll get it set up too. We did. We walked all the way, all the way to the end. Yeah. Listen. Can you hear it? It's kind of windy. It's right there, though. Yeah. Think so. Okay. So I got a car there on the other one. I was checking them just before we left to make sure. That's good. Let's check this one more time. Okay, we're good. The camera's ready to go. The bait's set. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to take Kevin down to the waterfall because he hasn't seen it yet. I'm getting thirsty. Hey, did you bring your little thing? Yeah, I did. We didn't bring no water, but... Kevin's thirsty. We brought plan B. We're always prepared. <laughs> Try to call him the Cherokee MacGyver. Yes. He's always thinking of something. So, let's go down to the waterfall. Well, that stuff's strong. Yeah, so all the stuff I've been reading on bears, because we're we're not, we don't hunt bear around here in this area. Now, the state of Oklahoma did open up four counties years ago down south that actually have a bear season. But it's one of them things that you have to call in each day to see um, if the the quota's filled. Um, it's pretty pretty cool stuff. But because the population just isn't real big around here, but they are they have been re releasing them around here for years. It's crazy. Um, so we'll see what we can get. If you guys got any tips for us, let me some comments down below. You bring your boots, Kevin? Yeah, I did. We had to go back and get them because you <laughs> forgot. He told me to wear my rubber boots and uh, I forgot, so we had to go back home and grab them. I thought he was just playing it, and we're gonna play in the water. <laughs> so we haven't got rain in a few days, and it's all. This was going really good after, right after the rain, but this is about what it was the first time we found this, running just like this. And we're like, man, that's a lot of water just well, to be run off. Right now, it, it, it looks like it flows 24/7, mm -hmm. 365. See how mossy it is? Moss. Yeah. If it dried out for very long, that would all be dried up. Yep. Super mossy down in here. Yeah. See, that goes up in there a little ways.
how you can fill it up, fill your thing up right there. Yeah. This is actually a lot cleaner than it was cleaned out after that flood. I just got this. I've never tried it out. The worst thing to try it out. This is a water purifier. Oh, that's like, nice, ice cold water. It's nice and cold, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hey, check this out, though. So this wasn't running when we came out here. It all just disappeared right here when I'm in the ground. Wow. Crazy, huh? Yeah, it is. I can see it's a little brown. Yeah. Coming off them rocks. There we go. Oh, it ain't that brown. No, it's clean to me. Try it. It's like Ozark naturally the, filtered water. That's a two dollar bottle of water you just got there. I'll send you a bill. <laughs> yeah, now I got a nice uh here. I haven't seen these. Try it. I like that you can just kind of fold it up. It's ice cold. Yeah. What kind of what is that sponge? I don't know what it is. Whatever type of filter it is. Yeah, it's good. Dude, this wall, that's this is crazy. You know what? Dude, look at all that. I could I could dam it off up there, have a pipe come out, shoot some water out or whatnot, and put a uh, put a wheel here. A big old <laughs> Your uh, own turbine generator. Yeah, something. Hey look at these rocks. That's cool. Crazy isn't it? Yeah. There's no telling how long this has been like this with washing out time after time. Look, something brought a little snack down there and was eating on it. Yeah. A little muskrat. That's cool. It's like if you lived out here, you could own this for 20 years. If you never came over here, how would you ever know it was here? You wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't have it. What a find, you know it? And just from standing up there, you can't even see this from no. up there. And when it's windy, we couldn't hear it up there, but whenever it was not windy, we could hear it flowing down there. You know, here. I know Oklahoma isn't known to have a lot of gold in it, but where people do find gold is places like yep. this, where they have these big ravines and everything washes down. Gold's heavier than rock, so it settles right here, and what, what you need to do is come down here with a little for it. pan. We might have a little gold it. mine going on I here. I guarantee you there will be something. There's to be something. It's That's just cool, cool how it's, it just stays pulled up like this, you know it? Wow. Mate. Well, the best way out, Kevin, is the way we just came. <laughs> is it? So, yeah. I was always told just to follow the water because it's always <laughs> the easiest route. It takes you all the way down to the creek. But it's a ways down there. You want to go get the creek, though? We'll go up and go yeah, around. Yeah, we can. Let's go up and get that stuff and go around. Kevin, get your drink out of the spring. Yeah, that is cool. Well, once you start looking at it, once you start looking at it, it looks like it was dug out right here. And then that's a platform they made it stood up on and put a little pill down in there. Oh, yeah. That's like a round rock. Yeah. That is cool. See how it's all stacked up underneath it to keep it up? It is. See how cold that water is. That is uh, pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Ice cold. Man, that is really neat. If I was a little bit littered, we could swim down there as a snorkel. Yeah, I wonder how far <laughs> back it goes. There ain't no telling. But it's crystal clear. That's what's crazy. It is. It's naturally filtered. Mm -hmm. Where did this come from? I don't know, man. It's just like they like, dug. Why is all this gravel right I here? think it was, it's was. it been dug out. So whenever it flooded, I brought Gabby down here. And this just, all the water from up there, you know, where we were at, just filled this hole. Hey, this I, whole, got a, I got a This theory. is underwater. I got a theory. Let's hear it. So you know how it floods right here? We're, we're about at the water table. We're probably yeah. a little above the water table from where the creek is. If there's a cavern under here that has an air pocket, yeah. if that water pressure from the creek yeah. goes up and it pushes into this cavern, all this underneath could bubble out of this and this is, all that. could be where this is coming from. Could be. Like down at our creek property when it floods real bad and it rains and all that water pressure is coming down, it always moves gravel into a certain area just so like this. So this was completely full of water last week. Gabby walked through here and started swimming right where you're at. Oh yeah. It was just coming out of this thing, dude. I'm gonna say there's a cave under here and all that water pressure from when it floods, it pushes this gravel up out of the Yeah, it could I absolutely. 
Holy crap, that's a long stick. I know, look how far that went back in there. <laughs> so we're gonna that's have to nice. get, here's my idea. Get on Amazon or get on get online and get one of them little RC submarines that you yeah. put a GoPro on. Put in there. In a light and send that thing in there. Dude, what if there's something living in there? It smell like sulfur or anything? It does kind of smell like a little bit of sulfur. That means it'd be deep, huh? That's what I would think. But see, there's gravel down here at the bottom of this too. So I'm, I'm thinking when it floods, it does. It just boils out of here. Yeah, this is... It was like because a, how else is this gravel getting up here like this? Look I don't this. know. Gotta be. So I got it. I haven't told you guys, but I bought a water test kit too. Um, we're gonna test this water. I should have brought it with this, Kevin. We could have tested it real yeah. quick. Um, because it will test to see if there's sulfur in the water, um, bacteria, all that. I think it takes like two days to test the bacteria, but you could test all the other stuff, the pH level, everything in it. So we'll have to make a video doing that sometime. Or you can just get one of these water filters and just fill water. it up and just drink it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is that, Kevin? An hour there it goes. There it goes. What is that? That's that huge. Big one. Probably taking that rabbit we've seen a while ago. Yep, hey, there's a nest right there. There's a bunch of buzzards today. Yeah. Something might be dead up here. Okay, I just spotted something over here underneath this tree looks like a bunch of feathers or something it looks like something what is that oh, oh dude what is that i see a carcass that explains why oh man yeah he was watching his kill wasn't he what is it oh holy cow Look at that. I bet an owl got it, dude. I don't know if it's a hawk or what it is. I think it's a hawk. Looks like the hawk we just seen missing yeah. a head. Oh, sure enough. That's why them buzzards are... It's not a red tail hawk, though. That no. was a red tail hawk. What is it? Man, that's nuts. That's big. Not as big as the one we just seen. It's pretty stiff still. Look at this. Yeah, look, oh, look at those talons, dude. Yeah. Wow, that's I'm crazy. I'm going to have to research and see what type of hawk it is. Here, I'll take a picture. It's not a red tail. Eat its head off. Here. It's like a two and a half, three foot wing. Let's thing. look at his talons. Those are some deadly, even they're, his, they're small. Dude. They're freaking deadly, dude. Yeah, they are. Look at that. I can't even. Oh my gosh. Why is it doing that? I can't even peel. Ow! Oh. That's sharp now. Dude, I'm telling you. Look at that. Look at that. Razor blades. Wow. wow. Yeah, that sucks. Part of nature. Well, they've got several of my chickens, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. So that's nuts. I didn't never expect to find a, a hawk down here destroyed. I'm that guessing... weird because they're the predator. I know, unless an owl got it. That's a pretty good sized hawk, too. That's what we just seen in the tree that looked bigger than that. That was a red tail hawk. I'm not sure what this is. You think they got in a fight? Yeah, maybe. That's that, crazy. That's not too old. It's stiff, but it's No, that's not probably a, like yesterday or today, yeah, like this sure. morning. And I think it was just here eating on it. It, yeah. it heard us walking up. So walking we've seen a bunch of buzzards up in there. I was like, man, there's got to be something dead up here. And then that, and then that other hawk was right there, like Kevin said. We walked up, it flew off right over there, yeah. and I seen all this. And I'm telling you, there, you never know what you're going to find when you come out here to the Bannon Creek property. It's nuts. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. We're going to walk back up here to the truck. we got everything set up and uh we'll kind of go from there okay well i think that's all we got for you in today's video we'll keep you guys updated i'll have Brent kevin will bring you back out here to check the cameras yeah with me. I, hey i'm i'm want to see what's on the cameras but more than all i want to see what that little yeah, spring hole is that's got me uh, wondering yeah. i think there's a big cavern underneath. Yeah, there the absolutely could be for sure so what kevin was saying all that water pressure can push all that water out well after he said that if you guys go back and look at the video where gabby was swimming in it that's exactly what happened all that water is coming up out of there all that gravel going didn't to the creek from nowhere. no i thought someone dug it but man there ain't no one really out here digging no. stuff that had done that years ago and the way they had those rocks stacked up holding yeah. the ground one there's that's something to it i think there was an old home site right down there i really do there's there's trash piles there there's those flowers um it's just very interesting property and i know we've been showing you guys kind of the same stuff but we're doing different things as we come out here and we really i really want to get this bear on camera just see what it is if it has cubs yeah. if it's two three one if it has an ear tag what well, would be cool if it doesn't have an ear tag that means they're 
they're out here and they're repopulating naturally. on their own naturally. Yeah. yeah. So years ago, probably 10, 12 years ago, my buddy sent me a picture that um, his cousin has some property probably 10 miles as a crow flies from here. And they had a bear on camera at his deer feeder and had an ear tag in there. It's one of the ones the wildlife yeah. department had released. So it's going to be really interesting to see what we get on those cameras. I'm going to give it about a week, let our scent get out of there and let them find it. And we'll kind of just go from there. So wish us luck and um, let us know what you think got that hawk down there. Like Kevin said, those are predators. They're, it's from a sky, some, something from above yeah, got it. The other one was a red tail hawk. The red tail hawks are right underneath the bald eagles in this area for like the main aerial predators. Bald eagles, of course, in this area are the main yeah. aerial predators. Then you got your like red tail hawks and then some of your owls. I'm thinking that red tail hawk took out that hawk. I don't know what it they is. It for sure. It didn't cut off its head. Yeah, it's crazy. So yeah, leave us some comments down below. Let, let us know what you think. Hey, if you're not subscribed to Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm, go subscribe to him. They got a lot of cool stuff going on. He's actually bought some abandoned property that they're redoing a rock, 100 year old rock cabin. Uh, over a 100 year old rock cabin down on the lake in Old Creek. Actually, this creek right here flows in to the same creek and the water that we're at with our rock cabin. So yeah. it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little venture you got One going day on when it there. floods, we, we need to put in our canoes up here and go all the oh, way down to our property. You could, we could easily. It'd be quite a ways, but. So what cool. your dad, I think you said your dad did some research and you found out that your family actually yeah, owned that yep, property years yep. ago and you one, didn't know that. One of my great uncles owned it back in the thirties and uh, it was even there before the twenties and some of those foundations and stuff, there was a clubhouse used for the prohibition days where they were doing some stuff they probably shouldn't have Some been. moonshining yeah. and things like that. Yep. Isn't it awesome the history we got it around is. here? And, just like that spring down here, there's no telling what people used that for 100 years ago. There could have been natives down here drinking out of it, you could know? Have been. It's probably a little bit cleaner than the creek, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. But yeah, so if you get a chance, go check him out. Give him a uh, subscribe if you would. You guys will like what he's got going on. Kevin hasn't been on our channel in a while. We've just been so busy with the house build and life in general. Um, but Kevin and I are putting on the Oki Homesteading Expo. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out yet and you're wanting to come, you what is that? that? I don't know what that was. If you're wanting to come, we have some workday classes on um, a Wednesday and a Thursday. Workshop. Workshop. So if you guys get a chance, go check out the website, okihomesteading.com, and go check all that stuff out. And it's coming up here in June, beginning of June. Yeah, come see us. We can't wait to visit with everybody yep. again. Last year was awesome. It was amazing. So hope you guys, hope we see you guys. And stay tuned. We're probably going to be doing a live stream sometime next few days after this video comes out, and we'll be answering a lot of questions. So catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for see watching. You.